The Italian Football Federation has become a leading association worldwide in his industry, not just because of the entrepreneurs and the brands and the products behind, but also because their power, their commercial power, their marketing power, their business intelligence they have worldwide to promote the Italian uh, shoes. And for this reason, I have invited Mr. Matteo Scarparo, who is the managing director of the Global Trade Hi, Business nice Services. To nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And with him, I'm going to talk about how he is doing this, how he is trying to promote uh, the Italian foodware producers and uh, giving also his insights. Matteo, you're the managing director of the Global Trade Business Services at the ANSI Services, which is the commercial weapon, the commercial arm, which made this association so strong. What are the key success elements of your unit and what is the core vision you have? When we organize this new business area in our organizations and our companies, uh, we started from a deeper understanding of how business, the food or business is managed in Italy. The majority of our companies are small or medium enterprises, so what they need is actually a support, a strategic support in different areas of their businesses. Yeah. Starting from the very uh, starting from downstream, from upstream, okay, upstream uh, intervention, we are providing strategic services in supply chain organizations. From customs planning, you consider that some of our companies have, a, have a diff an international uh, approach to supplying. Yeah. So they need some strategic vision and services in organizing this area. Then we have the business development. Our small and medium companies manufactures high quality shoes, but need, they need some of them need some support in order to market their own products abroad to find platforms where they can start commercial uh, relations with new buyers, new agents, distribution. So what, what we do is providing a full range of workshops, commercial workshops, commercial platforms, events all over the world, basically where markets are more promising or show big potential for, for our companies. Third, we have marketing, sales and AD, so some of our companies need actually some marketing supports. They are small, market are changing rapidly, yeah. they, need to, uh, they need to create a storytelling about their own product. So what we do is to, need to help them in doing this. Um, fourth, we provide business intelligence. We have a market research inside our business area, providing m custom tailored market research, mm -hmm. standard market research, in order our, and our companies can understand much better. Yes, yeah, so I'm mainly covering the whole value chain of a, of a business. So if I am a, a producer, an Italian producer, you are getting into my company, you are just looking what is my strategy as far as I have understood. And I can imagine, might be there, some of them are very quite small. And if I am coming, okay, I would like to go to China, I would like to go to uh, to India, I would like to export to Russia. Uh, what is the procedure? What is your approach? Uh, first, we we try to have a exhaustive profile of the companies, you know, not to understand which kind of products they manufacture, how they sales are organized, in order to understand which is the best channels for them. Uh, you, you, for instance, we have, you mentioned a couple of basic important markets for us, China and Russia, which are completely different in terms of approach. Russia has always been one of the, our key export markets, still one of our key export markets, and we provide our companies a full range of services starting from really commercial platforms. We are the organizer of a very, very important event in Russia, in Moscow. But we know that the market there has, is still uh, concentrated and fragmented in many buyers and many um, retailers. So we already know that for our companies, Russia is still a market where they can go on relatively easily directly to the market. China is completely different. What are the challenges for your business unit uh, to serve clients? What do you see the limitations, the restrictions? The difficulties even might be. Sure. We, um, as I told you, uh, the 
key element is to go there, understand their needs, approach the right way, because these people are capable of doing marvelous things, but they are, I would say, 90% concentrating on what they are doing, okay. which is on manufacturing the business. Itself, on the they are yeah. concentrating on product manufacturing, on food manufacturing. What they need is to open their eyes around them mm -hmm. and see how can I market my products in those countries, in those area, how can I understand mm. if this market really show or has big potentials or consumers who are can can buy, can buy our, our Do you shoes. have any, just in your mind, a success stories where you have helped a Italian producer getting into a, successfully into a new market? I would say that we have different uh, success stories in the, I mean, we can count at least uh, 10, 15 companies have been capable of uh, positioning themselves relatively well in some key markets. Russia is one of the, of, of yeah. course, of our uh, one of the best cases. We have at least 20 companies who has in the recent years placed themselves uh, and have resisted relatively well uh, during the, the, the two years crisis that the country suffered. And thanks to our platforms, thanks to our expertise in organizing events targeted for those kind of, of businesses. Um, another case uh, is, I'm referring to a much bigger company who recently reorganized completely their own supply chain, especially their customs planning. This is a big company with an international, internationalized uh, uh, supply chain. And this company is reorganized thanks to a partnership that we created with a, with a, with a um, specialized agency that we work with. My final question, my final question. A lot of federations, they are limited in their marketing and commercial expansions activities because of their politics, okay? And, and uh, I have seen figures, I have seen a lot of activities around your, your business unit. Um, how do you handle this? How do you convince them that it's about business? How you drive the business for your associates in a way that it creates value and you overcome, I would say, might be the politics side. Sure, an association, our, our business area belonging to an association yeah. we can, we, which has, has to answer to some political influences, is normal. But we have to, what we did is to make our companies understand, make our entrepreneurs understand that what is really important in our organization is expertise, yeah. is the support to the companies in order we can even to and do better what we do on, in, on, on the association side. If we can develop a good, efficient and comprehensive expertise in future businesses, we can also be more um, helpful in what we did on the influencing level. Good. Thank you so much, Matteo, for having been here. Thank you, Nelson, for this opportunity. Thanks. This was Inside Business, talking about how the ANSI services are the commercial arm and weapon of the Italian Football Federation. It's actively promoting the Italian shoes and they're made in Italy. This has been from IMCI Group International in cooperation with Yugoscopy Swiss Financial TV. My name is Nelson Peña. Thanks for watching. See you very soon.